I was showing my buyers multiple properties one weekend. We had about seven or eight houses on the list. I try to schedule the showings in a way that gives some flexibility between show times. So I do one occupied listing, then the next one is vacant, then occupied, then vacant, so on and so on. That way, if we're running late, we can skip the vacant one and replace it with the next occupied one so we don't interfere with the seller's schedule by being late to our showing time. At the end, we circle back to any vacant listings that we had to skip in order to keep our appointment time with the occupied listings. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, I tell you that so you know that I'm very considerate when it comes to being on time for occupied listings, especially since we're doing evening showings. We had just finished seeing one of the vacant listings and was doing great on time. So we headed to the next listing, which was, you guessed it, occupied. When we arrived at the property, I do what I always do. I tell my buyers to give me a moment. I walk into the house myself saying, hello, I'm here for our 6 p.m. showing, anyone home? I do this because there has been a number of times that for whatever reason, the homeowner is home and scares the shit out of us. Nobody answered back, so I motioned for my buyers to enter. I closed the door behind them and started my rant about the house. The age of the roof, AC, year it was built, etc. We casually walked through the home, pointing out all the things they liked and didn't like, where they put the Christmas tree, which room the office would be, etc. The wife was so excited to see the master bedroom closet to make sure it was big enough for all her shoes. I knew she was going to love it, and I wanted to be able to see her face when she saw it. While they were still looking at one of the guest bathrooms, I made my way to the master bedroom to get the lights in the walk-in closet turned on. I opened the bedroom door to a lovely master, but was upset to see that the bed wasn't made. Damn it, I said under my breath. I didn't want to touch the homeowner's things, so I just left it. I quickly turned on the closet light before heading to the master bathroom. I didn't have to turn on those lights because they were already on, exposing a very naked man sitting in the bathtub. I gasp as I put my hand to my mouth. The man seemed unfazed by my presence. He very casually turned his head to face me. With my hand still to my mouth, I muttered, I'm so sorry. He smiled. Wanna join me? A nervous laugh that I barely recognize as mine escaped from my belly. Perfect. He started laughing as well. Nothing creepy, just a normal laugh. I don't know why, but I couldn't move or look away. I was frozen in place as he just sat there, staring at me. He braced his hands on the side of the tub as he lifted his naked body out of the water. It was like a train wreck happening in fast forward, but I was moving in slow motion. He stood tall, stark naked, completely exposing himself to me while grinning. Now it was creepy. I was mortified. My body finally caught up to my brain and I was able to run out of the bathroom. As I was exiting the bedroom door, I ran face first into the chest of my client's husband. I was completely shaken and let out a little scream as my body slammed against him. Oh my God, are you okay? The wife asked. I frantically ushered them out of the room and to the front door as quickly as possible as they fearfully shouted questions at me. What's going on? What's in there? When we finally got out to our cars, I told them what happened. I immediately called the listing agent to explain the situation. She seemed confused, saying her sellers weren't home and nobody should be there. My buyer suggested that we call the cops. I agreed, so we did. We waited in our cars until the cops arrived a few minutes later. They went in and did a search of the house. After what seemed like forever, one officer came back out to update us. We were informed that the man in the tub was the homeowner. He was supposed to be out to dinner with his wife and his friends, but he wasn't feeling well, so he came home early. He explained to the officers that he forgot there was a showing and apologized for not remembering. Forgetting about a showing is one thing, but there's still some unanswered questions. Like, why did he invite me to join him in the bathtub? And why on earth did he stand up and expose himself to me? I'll never get that image out of my head of him just standing there full frontal nudity with a creepy grin on his face. The listing agent was disgusted by the recap that I gave her and ended up dropping the listing. It went back on the market with a different agent, a guy this time, and eventually sold. I pass by it sometimes, and it never fails to give me the creeps.